Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way to clean my sink and at the end I'll show you the best way to de-stink your garbage disposal to declog it with something that you may have laying around your house. I'm so excited. I love this technique but let's dive right on into it. These are some of my favorite cleaners for cleaning the sink. The Barkeeper's Friend and the Soft Scrub. So we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to go in today with some of the Soft Scrub and as you can see here this sink is quite dingy. It was here when we bought the house about two years ago and I'm not going to replace it until we decide to remodel the this whole kitchen if that is what we decide to do and again we're going to come in with something a little bit extra because i know these cleaners are not going to get a lot of this yucky stuff up that's all up in here So you can see a little bit of the yellowing that got picked up. Now this is part of my regular cleaning routine. When I first started using Magic Eraser down around here in the rim of the drain and then back in here, this thing was black, you all. And I know with the lighting, it can still look kind of dingy. And a lot of it is lighting, a lot of it is just wear and tear of this being an older sink. This is probably original to the house. Um, I don't know when this house was built, but just some of it you cannot get up, no matter how much scrubbing that you do. Uh, but this will make a world of a difference if you have some hard to reach spots in your sink and your cleaner, something like this is not doing the trick. Now let's move on to how to clean that smelly garbage disposal and keep it nice and fresh. Frozen bag of lemons. Now I have some sort of lemon water every single day, so I ended up having all of these lemons that still have a little bit of juice left in them because I can't get it all out when I put it in my water bottle. And I thought, what am I gonna do with these? Now I have put lemons down in my drain before and it does freshen it up because of the citric acid inside in here, helps break down a lot of the fats and build up which clog your sink. Now here's one method that you have probably seen before and I often will use these in combinations if I have a really stinky garbage disposal or if I have a really big clog. Now you're going to want to use hot water with anything that I show you here today. Take some vinegar, vinegar and baking soda, tried and true, it creates carbon dioxide gas. I'm just like dumping some down there, no precise amount. And then we take some baking soda, uh, creates carbon dioxide gas, which helps break down. See? It's satisfying. I know. It's little things. So let that sit, I would say, probably for about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, depending upon how stinky it is. That just is awesome. Depending upon how stinky your garbage disposal is, and then you're gonna to wanna to run some hot water, probably about for five minutes or so, so that it works its way entirely throughout your drain. So I'll go ahead and do that right now, and we'll move on to the next step. Now when you run the hot water, that's when you're gonna to wanna to turn on your garbage disposal so that it can make its way and clean the blades or anything that is stuck on it. Now you may have heard of putting ice cubes down here to help break up anything that's stuck inside the garbage disposal and that definitely works. And you may have heard of just putting straight old lemon up down in there and that's wonderful. But I'm gonna take it one step further. So I have this bag of frozen lemons and I let this one sit out while I was cleaning the sink. So it's mostly thought out. Um, just a little bit dense, it still has that citrus smell. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my garbage disposal. I will show you that here in a second. I'll turn down the volume so I don't hurt your ears. But another idea is that when you have lemons, you could use fresh lemons or you can use used ones like I have used just to 
you know, save things and be resourceful. Cut them up, put them in the tray, and then fill your tray with some vinegar. And then anytime you want to freshen up your sink, you have a clog, whatever the case may be, or maybe it's part of your regular sink cleaning routine, just go ahead, pull out your ice cube, your lemon and vinegar ice cube, drop it on in there, turn on your garbage disposal, and run some hot water while you're at it. So we're going to go ahead and just stick this down on in here. I'm going to turn on my hot water, and then we're going to run the garbage disposal. Now you can tell when it's totally broken up just based on the sound that your garbage disposal makes. And might I say, I got that a lemon scent when it started to uh, emulsify, pulverize the lemon, even though I had already used this, there was still juice back up in here. So I highly recommend this. I just think this is a fun way to get things clean, keep things fresh, keep things running longer and stronger because I'm all about saving you time and money and helping cleaning be just a little bit more fun here in Andrew Jean Cleaning. Inside us, I think it smells good. All right, we got someone to attest to that here. And no, I did not bribe him. He came up with that on his own. If you are new here, make sure that you sign up for my weekly newsletter where I show you how to turn your passion into profit and even cleaning your house can be that. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.